Yo, what up, YouTube? YouTube. I hope everyone's having a great day. It's your boy Pedro Bear97 coming at you with another honest wax review. On today's session, we have some more punch extracts live rosin. We have the banana papaya Wilson. Banana papaya Wilson is a tier two live rosin. This was manufactured and packaged in July of last year, meaning that it has been more than half a year. This has been chilling in their shelves, uh, in their refrigerator, in my, uh, it's been chilling in my, my dad fridge for about uh, a week now, but, you know, the supply and demand on this one is not looking that good, just reading that off the bat. It is now March, so in about four months, it'll have been a year. It's been more than half a year for this one. I will say it looks pretty fucking good on the window, so I'm not too sure why this one is sleeping, but let's find out, you know? THC level is reaching 75.51% with a CBD level of 0.11%. Total cannabinoid count is 79.54. Uh, as we compare this to the more recent tier twos and tier threes we tried, I think even a tier one that I tried was below 70% THC. But again, that's not something to idolize or prioritize when it is when it comes to selecting a strain to smoke um, just because again terpenes will make themselves known and uh, you you will you'll have a whole different experience it doesn't matter if the thc level is a little bit lower you'll have an even better experience sometimes uh, just because of the other cannabinoids that are present so that being said let's go see what it is the banana papaya wilson let's go ahead and break our seal and uh let's get right to it yo Get our punch points that I never collect. And damn, looks like this stickering is very funky on this one. We got punch extracts, Crosswood Valley Grove. We have an abundance of colors here, though. We have the black circles. We have green, orange, and yellow wordings with some of the characters uh, having some <laughs> switched out colors. Again, that looks cool. Very rare. That's the first time I've seen them not be consistent uh, across the words. You know, the letters are having individual colors. I think that's cool. It pops. This is a small batch banana papaya Wilson batter. So I'm expecting some good stuff. Every time that I've tried the batter, I've always had a very good experience. Their batters seem to be very terpful. Uh, they don't miss when it comes to those. So shout out to Punch Extracts for that. Let's go ahead and get this open, though. I'm cutting through the sticker instead of just twisting off the back because just twisting is very difficult sometimes. Well, let's go ahead and open this and get a smell test going. Smells really good, yo. This is a tier two, but I'm, I feel like this could pass as a tier one just about just with the amount of chirps I'm smelling, yo. This looks amazing. This looks phenomenal. Sheesh. Don't sleep on the batters because I don't think I've got I don't think I've met a single bad batter from Punch Extracts, yo. Every single one of their batters is phenomenal in terms of chirps. Let me try to pinpoint what I'm smelling. I could barely smell uh the banana it's pretty uh it's pretty noticeable uh, it smells a little bit like weed too so some weed and bananas the smells i'm getting a little bit of gasoline smell but let's go ahead and start packing a dab let's go ahead and try this let's enjoy the punch extract strain for what it is make sure our dabber is clean and let's go ahead and pack a nice size dab yo we got a nice glob right here i'm not too sure what size globs you guys like to take on your daily but i know i like to take like either a pea size dab like a green pea you know those things don't get that big so either that or smaller you know anything bigger than that is indulging a little far too much uh there's a difference between use versus abuse and don't get me wrong i'm honest with myself there's times where i love to abuse it and just ingest a lot but sometimes it's kind of pointless too sometimes you know a little dab will take you a long way and if you're using it for medicinal needs then that's all you really need sometimes so that's the reason I bring that up. At the end of the day, if I want to get high as fuck, you guys have seen me take a gram dab. So if you haven't, make sure you scroll through my old videos because there's a gram dab, there's a two gram dab, and there's an attempt at a three gram dab. So that being said, you know, I know what I'm talking about. You feel me? And to that degree, cheers. That was a nice dab, extremely fruitful, extremely smooth. Terpenes are amazing. I got nothing but good stuff to say about this gram of wax, yo. Let's dive right into it. Based off the batter appearance, you can see the terps reflecting on top. It looks like it's very uh, consistently blended even across all the way. Let me go ahead and show you guys what this looks like too. Uh, this looks amazing. I wish my camera could get way better detail so you guys could see it really good up close, but batter looks really well on this. Um, like I said, the terps make it nice and shiny. It looks like some creamy stuff. Amazing. 
the smell amazing too hold on let me back up let me back up the appearance 10 out of 10 just to just to get that out there 10 out of 10 appearance okay then the smell the smell is really good really enjoyable really attractive you smell it and it's very like maybe like 10 or 20 percent banana 80 percent weed in terms of smelling don't think i pick, i'm picking up anything else other than like maybe a gasoline smell if i had to correlate that in it'd probably be like 10 or 20 percent gasoline smell and then the remaining 60% would be the, the marijuana smell that's overpowering. Uh, it smells really good. And the taste is really good, too. I feel like it, it matches it damn near perfect. And it, again, the, the banana doesn't need to be that fucking strong. You feel me? It's just a nice little pinch on the top to sprinkle on the top for a nice aftertaste. And it's phenomenal, honestly. So uh, 10 out of 10 on taste and smell. So we got three tens so far. Potency. So far, I feel fucking good. I'm not too sure if this is an indica or a hybrid sativa, because uh, I feel pretty amazing right now. I felt like when I smoked that, I felt like my my right above my ears are being a little bit caressed and massaged. Uh, and um, you know, I you know when you know when a magician you know reveals the flowers out of nowhere. I feel like that just bloomed from inside of me, so that was cool. And yeah, that being said, the potency is gonna get a ten out of ten as well. Do not sleep on the banana papaya Wilson batter. This is. This is one that I enjoy a lot. So right off, right off the bat, you should definitely, definitely try it if you get a chance. I highly recommend that that uh, gram of wax. Um, that flavor profile is amazing. Punch Extracts does not miss with their batters, yo. Their batters are all very enjoyable. I've I haven't met a batter that I just do not like. Even their like wild, funky smelling ones are fucking phenomenal too. So it's just like Punch Extracts does not miss. Yo, that's some good ass brand right there. I'm a Punch Extract fan right here. Um that being said, if you guys have any comments or you know questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Uh make sure you connect with my link tree in my bio below. Uh you can find me on Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, Instagram, everywhere, you know? Uh, you're already watching me on YouTube, but you know I'm everywhere. So and then uh, after that, that's basically all there is to say about this grandma whack. You already know I'm going to have another one coming for you guys soon. Keep on keeping on the free world, yo. Your boy Pager Bear 97 is out. I'm going to record another one for you guys soon. Keep on being badass, yo. Thank you for the support.